Discussions and arguments over what the Force being in balance means has been part of the Star Wars fandom as long as I can remember. I'll admit, my younger self misunderstood this as well. My misunderstanding began in 2005 when Revenge of the Sith hit theaters. Obi-Wan, Mace, and Yoda are all discussing Anakin and his part of the prophecy. Obi-Wan confirms that Anakin is indeed the chosen one who would bring balance to the Force. Yoda replies that a prophecy that misread could have been. The Jedi thought Anakin would destroy the Sith, leaving only the light-wielding Jedi in the universe. I thought Yoda's line is what actually happened. Anakin leads to the destruction of the Jedi Order and dwindles the numbers down by thousands, making a closer balance of light and dark side in the universe. But that's not balance. The Force isn't weighed on a cosmic scale. George Lucas has had a firm grasp on the Force since the conception of Star Wars. Lucas defines balance as being in the light and not succumbing to the dark. The imbalance shows itself in selfish acts and emotions, fear, greed, anger, hate, suffering. Lucas further explains that finding balance happens when the dark side is suppressed. It's about purifying the light and removing the influence of the dark side, not eliminating the dark side entirely. That's not possible. In The Last Jedi, a disenchanted Luke Skywalker tells Rey about both sides of the Force, light and dark. The novel, Secrets of the Jedi, also has Luke saying that those who learn to harness the Force must eventually pick if they will use it for the greater good or personal gain. There's a black and white stone mural of the Prime Jedi being the first Jedi, and we'll see a lot more of that in the upcoming film Dawn of the Jedi, assuming it's made. Before I get into why this is so important, I want to bring up another common misconception. I'm pretty sure I can dispel both of these misconceptions on balance with one explanation. We've been talking about balance in the Force in the wide meaning. It's not a scale of light side and dark side. The same is true within an individual. A Force user is is not balanced if they are equal parts light and dark. The concept of a gray Jedi has been around for some years now, but it can't be. Would you consider a Jedi in balance if for every life they saved, they had to take one? Would a selfless act like feeding somebody need to be balanced out by denying somebody else a meal? That would be insane. The Prime Jedi mural is a perfect visual representation of what balance truly means. We see the Prime Jedi is half black and half white. The saber they're holding is the same. The background is dark behind the light side of the figure and light behind the dark side of the figure. There are two dots on the background, light in the dark, dark in the light. Much of Star Wars has been based on our own world's history and mythology. These concepts were important to George Lucas to bring into his films and have been continued by some of the best creators currently making Star Wars. The sheer amount of Greek mythology in Ahsoka is a recent and awesome example. The Prime Jedi mural is the equivalent of the ancient Chinese Taiji, Yin and Yang. Yin and Yang is the philosophy of mutually perpetuating forces. The black areas, Yin, dark side, retractive, passive, and receptive. The white areas are Yang, light side, active, repelling, expansive. The two are necessary in all things. To be clear, in Eastern philosophy, dark is not evil. Light and dark, expanding and contracting, fire and water are all said to be physical manifestations of yin and yang. Taiji is the supreme ultimate, a state of infinite potential, oneness before duality. This concept leads to the concept of chi. Chi is a material energy that has formed many things, including humans. I think we could all make the connection between a material energy and the force. George Lucas and Dave Filoni, who is now the chief creative officer of Lucasfilm, explored this further in The Clone Wars. The animated series introduced the Mortis gods, a father, daughter, and son. The daughter represents the light, Yang the sun, the dark, yin, and the father keeps balance between the two, taiji. The light side and the dark side goes way beyond the simple dichotomy of good and evil. George Lucas's vision always included real world philosophies. Balance doesn't mean equal measures in the universe or the individual. Balance is accepting the coexistence of opposing forces to create the whole. Nurture the light, and control the dark. Don't let it control you. This much deeper interpretation highlights the vastness of Star Wars lore and is another example of why this mythology has been capturing audiences for decades. Check out this transmission for more of my thoughts on the Star Wars galaxy.